Hi. How are you doing today, my man? I hear that you learned how to do something pretty amazing, which I'll keep between you and um, me and your mom. Okay. Well, I'm going to go outside, take care of things outside. But before I do, another book. This one is called Firebird, and it's by Misty Copeland and Christopher Myers. Um, Misty Copeland is a famous ballet dancer, and she's the, not the first African American, but maybe the first to reach such a high level of fame. So this will be interesting. Let's read this book. Oh, the pictures are beautiful. Okay, we always check this inside cover part. Fitting with the firebird theme. I don't actually know what a firebird is. I don't know if it's a kind of bird. I know they named a car after it, but I don't think that's what they're referring to here. Firebird. And that is the ballet dancer. And believe you me, you and I are going to watch some serious ballet. Um, I'm going to plug in this because yesterday it conked out while I was taping. I don't want that to happen again. Um, my grandmother loved ballet. Part of her life, she grew up in Paris as a young girl. And ballet is a very big deal in French culture. And so she knew the ballet. And then she passed on. And she loved the ballet. And like all good grandmothers, she passed on what she loved to the grandchildren that she loved. So she took me to ballets. And if you go to something with somebody who loves it and knows it, you learn it really well. She did that with art too, because she was a painter. And she took me to the National Gallery many times and other galleries as well. And so as a result, I love art and I love ballet more than I would have loved them if I never saw them. So I'm going to pass it down to you. And um, let me uh, start with this book, Firebird. And there's a ballet dancer with long, very, how can we say, athletic, but long legs that can stretch. Some athletes have strong muscles that are shorter muscle things like running, but dancing is a long muscle thing. So this is called Firebird by Misty Copeland. And it says, Ballerina Misty Copeland shows a young girl how to dance like the firebird. Oh, you need the picture, not the first words. The space between you and me is longer than forever. You are the sky and clouds and air. Your feet are swift as sunlight, stretching across the skyline, like the day-long sun over the horizon. Me, I'm gray as rain. Heavy as nap time, low as a storm pressing on rooftops. I could never hope to keep the space between. The whole, not exactly full sentences, so that's why I had to look back to see if I missed something. Darling child, don't you know you're just where I started? Let the sun shine on your face. Your beginning's just begun. That's well said. Oh, there's a Gabby right here. Hi, Gabby. Do you like this book? Do you like this? Of course you do. Gabby loves ballet. She's a ballet kind of cat. So is Malcolm and Macy. And munchy, actually. Cats are very balletic. That's a word. 
Before the curtain rises, but before the spotlight falls, before the fireworks of costumes, before, before it all. I was a dancer just like you, a dreaming shooting star of a girl with work and worlds ahead. There I am, sweating at the bar. I had a thousand leaps and falls, switching worn out slippers, swift as a falls. Even birds must learn to fly. Like me, you'll grow from steady, in grace, spread an arabesque of wings and climb. It's a beautiful, beautiful painting and beautiful poet, poetry of the words. Each position, one through five, stair steps to the sky. That's right. You see that their feet and their positions change. There's five basic positions in the, uh, well, position of the feet and body. And all little girls learn them, and some very lucky little boys. I want, might want me to show you? Okay. I don't know the arms, but first position is with the feet like this. It's going to be hard to show you. I'm going to show you in person. Here are some of them. You see how the feet are together like this going out? And then they're this position and this, but you'll see better when I show you in person or you see somebody, a ballet dancer show you. You will soar, become a swan, a beauty, a firebird for sure. Soon with the same practice, you'll join me in this dancing dream. In a pas de deux, a music box for two, we will wrap our hearts, careful as ribbons on point shoes. We'll make the night sky our starry curtain, the moon our silver spotlight, as we spin across the sky, uh, sorry, as we spin across the planets, pirouetting tightly as the curls on our heads. That's the final thing. Spinning wishes for new little ones we can't yet imagine. Then they will look to you and wonder, lighter than air and swift as sunlight, turning over the day and say, the space between you and me is longer than forever. And I will show them that forever is not so far away. That is about, whether it's ballet or something else, about the space between what you want and what the dream is, isn't as far as it seems. If you work at it, and nobody can teach you that better than your mom. She's achieved so many dreams that I've watched, and it's been wonderful. So this is what it says in the book. Dear reader, I was once a little girl searching for my voice, quiet, scared, unique, yet alive and vibrant. I struggled, caught among five siblings, desperate to be noticed. I never felt that I fit in anywhere, not even at home, surrounded by my family. My discovery of movement became the saving grace. When I was introduced to ballet, it was like finding a missing piece to my puzzle. I danced my worries and fears away. The beauty of dance is being a part of something that is all you, 
from creation to performance. You hold the power of your instrument. That instrument comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors. That instrument is your body, soul, and heart. That instrument is you and me. But when I opened up ballet books, I didn't see myself. I saw an image of what a ballerina should be, and she wasn't me, brown with tendrils sweeping her face. I needed to find me. This book is you and me. I want to expand the idea of beauty and art. Raven Wilkinson, African-American ballerina with the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo, and other amazing women took my hand and led me. Now it is my turn to lead others. This book is bringing my existence and non-existence as a young girl to life, showing other girls and boys that they're not alone. They too can find their voice, their wings, their missing piece. My hopes are that people will feel empowered to be whatever they want to be, to feel that they have no limits, just endless dreams that are reachable. No matter what that dream is, you have the power to make it come true. With hard, with hard work and dedication, despite what you look like or struggle with. I hope to have, I hope to pave a more definitive path than the one that was there for me, but was just a little too hidden. I want to bring many with me to trace and create in an even more, oh, sorry, I'm not reading that well. I want to bring many with me to trace and create an even more vivid road to acceptance of yourself and from others. Join me. Sincerely yours, Misty Copeland. I tell you what, one day when you're a little older, why don't you and I watch a video of Misty Copeland's Dancing Miss Dance and go to an actual lesson. Want to do that? Okie okay, doke. Okay. I love you, my sweet boy. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Oh, you want to say? Oh, okay. Somebody wants to say hi to you. Look at that. Do you want to say hi to Malcolm? Malcolm. I do that all the time. Do you want to say hi to Isaac? He'll be right through there. Oh, little Malcolm, I think, is right on the camera. Well, that's little Munchie. Sometimes I pretend I don't notice. And that's very not good. Oh, look at that little girl. She's beautiful, isn't she? That's a beautiful little girl. Go on. Go on, beauty girl, you. Because you are a beauty girl. Do you want to say hi to Mom? No. I did it again. Do you want to say hi to Isaac? He's right through there. There you go. Hi, Isaac. Hi, little Isaac. Hi, little Isaac. Whoa, what are we stepping on this for? We're not supposed to step on the computer.